<laughs> oh man, thank you, man. I appreciate you taking time. I know your schedule is is is, is crazy, man. So no, I genuinely not, not really because the thing about it is my schedule's been cut in half this year because even though I work for the Lakers call the games, we don't travel anymore. Everybody's at home now doing the games via Zoom. Wow. You know, so that uh because believe me, I miss going on the road because you know, we travel first class, we stay in the best hotels, we go to all the games, calling uh -huh. the games in the studio off of a monitor. It's just so but so sterile. It's not it's a, you, you gotta be in the in the building now with fans and we gotta get back to normal ASAP. Yeah. Uh speaking of the Lakers, man, they they going viral. People people think the plane is crashing, man. It's, everything is is it's going down. What's the synopsis today as you see the Lakers? Well, only two things are plaguing the Lakers right now. Number one, they're not shooting threes well. The last uh, couple of weeks, they just haven't been shooting the, the outside shots like they, like they start off. And that's number one. And then number two, my goodness, they don't have Anthony Davis and Dennis Schroeder missing two guys. If the Lakers were healthy, they'd be fine. They'd still be in right. first place in the West if they were healthy, or at least right there with Utah if they were healthy. Mm -hmm. When you was on your back-to-back -back campaign uh, for championships, what was the... Uh, the hiccups that y'all had in the 80s? We didn't have any. We were too good. <laughs> yeah, we, didn't, we didn't have any, man, because uh, we had some studs on that Showtime Laker team, man. We, nobody talked about load management. Nobody talked about being tired. Mm. Nobody worried about playing too many minutes. We had a job to do. And we had, you talking about Kareem, Magic, Worthy, Byron Scott, Michael Cooper, AC Green, Kurt Rambis, you're talking about some of the toughest guys ever played this game, the toughest competitors ever played the game, and no excuses, not looking for no days off. Mm. This is a different time, man. People, I shouldn't say people, but some guys, I mean, LeBron's not like this. LeBron wants to play every game. Kobe mm. wanted to play every minute. Michael Jordan, the same way. Clyde Drexler, those guys never took nights off. Today's NBA, you hear about load management and guys worrying about playing too many games and too many minutes. I don't get that because all these guys are superhumans. They're in phenomenal shape. They really are. They're, they're different from you and me. They're not average. They're not average humans. Now nah, they need to Google you. No, nah, they need to Google you, man. You was in tremendous shape. <laughs> yeah, I was then, of course. But now we're talking about now. Uh -huh. how these these young men are and young ladies who play at this level. They're they're different from the normal human beings. So they should never talk about being tired. I know they're human, and we can get fatigue and need a day off here and there. Who doesn't? But um. These guys today, I think they just – and plus, the good, the good thing about the NBA now that was bad when I played was we practiced too hard. You know, wow. the season is so long anyway, and the games keep you in shape. Sometimes we practice two and a half, three hours, and that's too much, too much stress on the body between games. But today the NBA learned that the, all that extra practice is not good. It's too taxing on a player's body, so they give the guys a lot more days off or a lot less practice time, which is good, a good thing. So um, – the Lakers team like the Lakers, as long as they can just stay healthy and LeBron stays healthy, they'll be fine. And th does that play into like the guaranteed contracts and stuff? Is No, I don't think so. Because when I played 30 years ago, 35 years ago, I had a guaranteed contract. Now, we didn't have the money these guys are making today. Uh -huh. the, today, the money is just crazy money, even though I was making a good living myself. And I wish I was making that kind of money today, even right, though it was right, 40 right. years ago. But yeah. um I don't think the guys worry so much about the guaranteed contract so they feel like they can take extra time off or not work as hard. No, that's these guys are all competitive and competitors and they want to win. They want to play, play the game they love. Um, they just people just need to stop thinking like they're tired and worrying about load man. Just go play. Just go go to work like most people do in this world. Uh -huh. And how do you shape up the Western Conference? How good are the Clippers? I, I know you obviously got the Lakers number one, but how how does the Clippers, Utah and everyone else feel in? Yeah, even though the Lakers' record don't uh, reflect it right now, I still have them number one when they're healthy, when uh, when everybody's healthy. Against even though Utah's playing great and shooting the lights out from three point range, this is ridiculous what they're doing. We thought the Houston Rockets a few years ago shot a lot of threes and made a lot of threes. Utah's shooting even more and making more. The, they they're just playing great. But the Clippers are for real, man. Anytime you got Kawhi Leonard on your team and you got good players around Kawhi Leonard, you are a serious contender. And uh, so the Clippers are going to be right there in the playoffs. I expect to see them in the Western Conference Finals. If not them, it'll be Utah. It'll be Utah. Uh, what did you make of the big three in New Jersey? You got to see them up in close a little 